All right, everybody, here's the box of the collection came in. Now it's 100 Hot Wheels, a little over 100 Hot Wheels, I think 106 Redline Hot Wheels. I don't know why the box is this big. There must have been something else that I didn't notice in the collection that made it so that the box had to be this big. Let's get over here and get this open. There's a lot of packing materials. It's really heavy, too. All right. Get that box open. And not wreck anything. I opened something the other day and wrecked it. I wrecked it. Oh, boy. You know, it had been easier if I would have undone this first. You know what I mean? Just jump over here. All right. Got it open. Got it open. Hard to do it with one hand because one hand's holding the camera over there. One hand's holding the knife. It's crazy. All the things you have to do to make a silly video. A silly video. I still like to do the silly videos. Packing. Bubble wrap. Nice. Bubble wrap. Nice. Orange bubble wrap. Nice. More bubble wrap. Nice. Oh. Oh. What's this? What is this? Oh. That's right. There was some newer stuff. There was a few newer things in the collection. Things they bought, I think they thought were neat. Oh yeah, that's right. There's some 30th anniversary, I think, things. All right. Oh, there's a wheel case. Aha. Wheel case. Wheel case. Look at that, pretty rough. And, 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 oh, look at this. Oh yeah, that's right. Ooh, this thing is, this thing is dirty. Oh my goodness, I think it's been laying in a mechanic shop. For 40 years. Mechanic shop. What's this? Oh, look at that. That's been around a while. One of those. And get this out of there. Something down there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ugh. Look at that. 48 car case, huh? What do you know? 48 car case. What else? What else? I'm digging down, digging down. I thought there was something else down there. I think I feel it. I'm feeling it. Oh, 12 car case. Whoa, these things are grimy. My goodness. No offense, but these things are grimy. Oh, look at that. Oh, dear. Look at that. My wife is not going to be happy. She catches me with these dirty things in the house. What else is in here? Balls of paper and more bubble wrap. All right, let's get on the tripod and see what we got in this collection of Redline Hot Wheels. Yeah, for some reason the camera shut off. Here we go with the whipped creamer 1970 model. Let's just keep going here. Keep it coming. See what we've got. Some good values in here. All right, blue Corvette. Blue Corvette. Hong Kong Corvette. Square holes in the bottom. Hood's opening. Good. That's good. So it is complete Corvette. All right, there we are on the way to completing an original 16. A bargain set of original 16 cars. Here we got the blue Eldorado, this one U.S., the round holes. U.S. and blue. Blue Eldorado. Blue Eldorado. Next thing up, a magenta peeping bomb. Magenta peeping bomb. There it is. There it is. I'm not going to make a lot of comments on the cars because all of the cars are aged. Let's just call them aged. Here we've got a green tow truck, green tow truck, halfway decent chrome on the wheels on this, and parts are still functioning. That is always good. Functioning parts. What do we got here? We got a purple Diora. This one is for parts or repair. I don't know how that top piece is missing on there. It's kind of weird, but it's a U.S. model. Worse for wear, so to speak. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. We got another Diora. This one with a surfboard. A Hong Kong. In orange. Hong Kong in orange. With one, oops, not even a full surfboard. Huh. <laughs> Missing part of the board. There it is. Is what it is. Ah, oh, we got a brown turbo fire. A brown turbo fire. There she is, brown turbo fire, out of the first case. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. We've got a purple, 
purple Hong Kong square holes. There it is. Purple Hong Kong python. Python in Hong Kong. Any parts or pieces left? Let's see, what's this? It's a piece of plastic in here. Get it out. I don't know what that is. What do you think? Looks like a divider for a small dividing case. One rally case. Unfortunately, a rally case in this shape is just too far gone to even clean up. Too far gone. Alrighty. And the problem with stuff like that is you, you can't really do anything with it. You can't do anything with it. This is pretty sad. Inside is, of course, good because it stayed protected. All right, fire engine, fire engine, let's check. How are they, the four nubs are there, that's good. Not too bad. It's got the ladder on it, original ladder, it's always good. I would probably take the, take the top of this one off, clean it, and put it on another better base with better wheels, or at least do a little swapping. You know, do a little swapping to maximize the, the condition of your piece. Swapping only, no no changing, no painting, no touching, just swapping. Band lines, this one with gold door. Huh, I've never seen a gold door that was darkened before. That's funny. With the gray van lines. Gray van lines, all right. All right. It's always good to get a collection in. Always good. Here's a green turbo fire. It's got great color on it. Great color. Look at those dull bases, my goodness. Got DNA, a residue, and fingerprints. So if there's any crimes associated with these Hot Wheels, we'll soon know. Nah, just kidding. Good, um, yeah, it's nice, it's too bad. That's got a really beautiful color in green. Really hard to find a green turbo fire with matching front and back. This is pretty darn close. Oh, it's a little darker in there. You can't always see everything in this light, but it is a little darker, but pretty nice. You know, of course, it's got a lot of wear on it, but it's really hard to find a minty one of those. Of course, goal is to find everything in mint condition. Why is my phone ringing while it's recording? That's weird. There is a sand crab. Sand crab in light green. Very nice. All right, getting back at it after a brief phone call. My other phone, which I was recording from another angle, got a phone call. I guess you got to turn the phone off. Here we've got a Maserati Mistral. Maserati Mistral. There you go. This car is in much better shape than the others. Yeah, that's pretty good shape. Maserati Mistrals are always good. Got a little crack in the windshield there. See that line cracks, not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty decent shape. Yeah, there we go. Put that over there. And next one up. Next one up is... What is it? What is it? It's a silhouette. Silhouette in green. Dark green with a dark interior. That's pretty common. I don't know. It's about the only color that comes in a lot of dark green interiors. I think all the colors are supposed to come with the dark, but this green one seems to have it a lot. A lot of dark. Did I say dark green interior? Dark interior. Here's a gold twin mill. Gold twin mill. It's kind of a darkened gold, slightly dark all over, and um, halfway decent shape. Looks like it didn't get played with a lot. Looks good in the light, though. It's always good to put a lot of light on your Hot Wheels. Makes them look the best. They really shine. They really shine nicely when you put the light on them. Oh, here we got a short order, a bright lime color. Short order. Can you see it? Look at that. Look at that close-up. Is that good or what? See all the wear on it? Yep. But that's what this collection is. A lot of, a lot of wear. There's a couple of really nice cars, I hope. And here's a pink AMX2. Darkened all over. Probably looks bright in the camera, but in not-so-natural light, it looks more like that. That's more like what it looks like in hand. And condition is light played wear, medium. I I better not say that. It's medium. Medium play wear to heavy on all these. Here we've got a iced tea. The iced tea itself is in good shape. The top is discolored. And there it is. Black wall. So not a red line. Not a red line. Doggone it. 
Doggone it. What was I thinking? Blue Maz Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz Blue. Uh, with halfway decent wheels on this one. Come on, focus in. There we go. Nice and slow. Mercedes Benz, first case, almost. Second case, almost done. We've got a bunch of cases and a jackrabbit. Every collection has a jackrabbit special. There it is. Jackrabbit special and a carry case. Check the carry case for any parts or anything missing. Nope. Just a moldy old case. Moldy old case. Oh. That goes out. Out, out, out. Out you go. Actually, what I do on these cases, I keep this part. Keep this part. And this one's coming off already. Just keep those parts in these dividers for adding to other cases that are in better shape. I'll set that on there. What is that? What is that in there anyway? Oh. It's a Ertl Collectible Classic Rides Mustang with the Washington Nationals on it. Wait a minute, what is that? That's baseball. 2005. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, right over there. Let's get back to this. Let's get these out. Get out. Get out. Oh, here we go. Hope this is a good one, decent one. Let's see. All right, there, that's a decent car. A TNT Bird, Aqua. TNT Bird, Aqua. Yeah, dull base. Everything's dull. Dull base. Come on, guys. I like them shiny. Everybody likes them shiny. Look at that. All right. Hey, green cab. A survivor. Look at that. No rubs hardly on this thing there. A survivor. Good job. Stayed out of harm's way. Probably not that much fun to play with, you know. Can't really slide a moving van down the down the track, can you? Here's a what is this? Yellow whipped creamer. And the spoiler survived. Chances are I would take the spoiler off and put it on another car. Because this one's all toned up. Maybe just put a reproduction spoiler on that one. Keep the spoiler for a little bit better car. That's missing a spoiler. Alright, here we go. Second cab, this one will crack in the windshield, and a pretty good surviving. Let's see, the back wheel still got flex on them, that's good, all right. Flexible wheels all around, always good to have more stock. Oh, here we got a charger, let's see, let's hope it's good, eh? Hood is dark, the hood is dark, basically decent shape, window posts aren't bent, and it's a red charger. Hood is not broken. Oh, look at this one. Got painted on the inside. That's kind of weird. So there's a unique feature. The painted engine charger. Some people think that is very cool when you get something that's not been quite done right at the factory. It got a little carried away. Maybe the hood got stuck up or something. And there we go. A painted engine charger. Painted engine charger. Yes. And a mongoose. Mongoose. This one's decent. Too bad that one's got a bunch of rubs on it, but the side stickers are great. Look at that. Nice side stickers. There you go. Too bad you can't take those off. This one, this one, really good. Decent pair. Mongoose and snake. Snake's in here somewhere. Snake is in here somewhere. Somewhere there's a... No, never mind. I'm not going to try to sing a song. Here we've got a Seasider in Aqua, Aqua uh, Sky Show, I should say. Aqua Sky Show with partial ramp. Now this one's got great decals on it. This Aqua Sky Show might be worthy of a wheel upgrade and a, an original ramp. It just might be, oh, base has got a, little, got a little corrosion on it. See that spot right there, right there, a little corrosion. You can clean that off a little bit. Too bad the base isn't better and the front's kind of dark, but it's got good Sky Show decals. Original, that's cool. Got an original decal there as well. Leave that on there. Might be worthy of an upgrade. Might be worthy of upgrading the wheels and putting a real ramp on it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. That's one of the choices a guy has to make when he's 
parting out a collection or putting it in his own collection, whatever a guy's going to do. Custom fleet side, purple, decent shape there. Decent shape there. Looks like the roof has been painted over. Yeah, got the paintbrush out and touched that baby up because it got rubbed on the, probably slid across the cement like that. Got the paintbrush out. <clears throat> like to take these things out these are the dividers people like to buy those because collection things are always missing those and this collectible box is not going to survive the night here we've got a decent car a real decent bug eye in it's actually rose but it's very dark it's got two coats of rose on it very very dark kind of neat I know somebody that will probably really like that one. Set that over there. We've got a friend who likes the 71s the best. And lots of variety of colors. That will definitely give you a new color. And here's a demon in red. Dark interior. Just your basic run of the mill a demon. Demon. As you well know by now, there's not too many rare Hot Wheels. They're all fairly common. Some colors are harder than others, obviously. Here we've got a copper cement mixer. Copper cement mixer. Not bad. Got good part back there. That's nice and solid. Got the brown, which is a little harder color. That's a nice. I like this brown. You mostly see orange, I think. It seems darker than normal, but I like that. And then it's got the white interior, so that's basically cool. It needs, it needs some wheel caps upgrades. Otherwise, it's pretty darn cool. Yes, in that case, and these things, let's see, what's in here anyway? Let's take a quick look. Oh, we got a, we got one of those. Sidekick. Sidekick. A kick in the side. What's this? Oh, it's a red line blister pack. Yay! It is. Oh, no, come on. It's a 25th anniversary twin mill. I put those in my antique mall space. Nobody buys those for some reason. This one's nice. I probably have this one, but it's a 71 Dodge Charger. I'll have to check it out. As you might have checked out in my video series, I'm starting to look at my blister pack, or my, <laughs> my muscle car collection real close. And uh, i got to figure out what I got and what I don't got and what I need. Here is a 38 Phantom Corsair 1999 First Editions. I wonder if they did anything else with this model. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. It looks like a Dick Tracy or maybe a bad guy getaway car or something. And here we got a Vicky. One Vicky and this die cast Marlins, whatever. All right, let's see. This case, all right, you go over there. And next case up. Next case, ooh, next case up. All right, I think I'm going to dump these out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dump those out. Dump all that out. This case actually... Yeah, that might, this case actually, let's see, kind of damage does it have. Super dirty, but this one actually would probably clean up. It's not torn. I mean, it would take about a half an hour to really work on it, but you could probably clean this case up pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it, but I'll find somebody who does. All right, let's, work. let's get at these cars. Let's get at these cars. We're about 17 minutes into this video already. And 20 is my limit, I think. A mod quad in magenta. No, is it magenta? No, it's rose. Yeah, it's rose. Mod quad in rose, that's what it is. What's in here? What is in all these? There's basically one of everything in this collection. And a Red Baron. It is basically one of everything. One of everything in this collection. The 71s are light, though. Not too many of those. You've got a Beatnik Bandit with a black engine. The black engine Beatnik Bandit in orange. Kind of rough on that one. Kind of rough. Rough. All right. And a Rolls-Royce in gray. Every collection has one. Rolls-Royce in gray. Apparently, Rolls Royces were not that much fun to play with because they're typically in pretty decent shape. Pretty decent shape. Here is a green Continental. Wow. Green Continental. Look at those spots. 
My goodness. Green is a good color. Hard to get a green continental, you know, again, in mint condition. That's what we're striving for. The ultimate imperfection. And purple hot heap. Decent. Purple hot heap. Decent shape. Dull base. And that white interior. Pretty cool. All right. Here we go. Here we go. People walking by outside. And here we go with the... It's amazing how bright the camera is showing. Because it's kind of getting dark around here. Sun's going down. Sun is going down. The sky is beautiful. I should be out there filming the sky with my drone. Hey! Look at this. A survivor. A good survivor. Look at that. A nice police cruiser. Yay! Things are looking up. Things are looking up. That's a good one. That's a good one. This one's kind of cool. All right. Got two over in the cool cool zone. Oh, let's put this one in the cool zone. The coolest, the coolest pieces of the collection have their own zone. What's this? Ah, pink T-Bird. Pink T-Bird. Hmm. Seems to have some sort of bacteria. Nah, it's not. It's just... It's just moisture spots, moisture damage on the roof. That's what I'm talking about. Can you see it on the roof there? Oh, man, I need to trim my nails. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's do a few more before we break out into song. I'll grab it. What's over here anyway? Oh, we got a couple of catalogs. Yeah, yes, catalogs. Wheels and Wings, 1971. Have the cars been checked off in here? Let's see. Let's see, where are the cars? We got hot birds. Boy, if you want some hot birds, let me know because I've got hot birds. Look at this stuff. Rumblers, so many cool things. Don't you wish it was 1971 again? You could just dream about all this stuff and then go down to the hobby store and get it. Look at that mighty mover hotline train. Why is there somebody walking across my yard? All right, I'm back at it. A little incident outside. All righty. Be surprised how many people I live in a city. Be surprised how many people like to stop and have their dogs poop in my yard because I have the nicest yard in the neighborhood. Anyway, let's get back to the collection here. Purple. Look at that purple. That is beautiful purple. It's so nice. The purple color. I've got several of these in mint condition. This would really be a gem in mint condition, but it's still fairly decent. Look at that, two of those, two of those Lincoln Continentals from 1969. Oh, here's another one I was hoping would be halfway decent. A little bit of a survivor there, Cockney Cab in Magenta US version. Still got a good sticker on the back, so that's halfway decent. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's all right. Look at that. Look at that. I'll put that over there in the good pile. Yeah, let's throw out another box of 12. There we go. Oh, got one of my favorite trays. Look at that. This is the tray with the rim around the outside. These are the hardiest trays of all the... It's about four different designs of these white plastic trays. This one's my favorite. All right. Favorite tray. What do we got? We got another Corvette. This one in antifreeze. Antifreeze. Look at that color. That is nice. That would be a beautiful car in mint shape. Imagine. Pretty darn hard to get that color, especially in like new, which is our goal. So don't feel bad. Don't be mad at me because I, you know, don't, I don't particularly, I've been collecting for 30 years. So cars that are worn don't appeal to me, but they are good and inexpensive to collect. But, you know, I got so many cars go through my hands, and my customers are so picky. It just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts sometimes. Rose 36 Ford Coupe. Rose 36 Ford Coupe. Yeah, I recently went through a period of time where the mint cars that I had for sale just flew out. Flew out. It's amazing. I'd really like... Look at that white enamel Hong Kong. I've got a guy in Canada who's been wanting a white enamel Hong Kong in absolutely flawless condition 
I had 12, I had like a bunch of them, 10 or 12 of them, but none of them were flawless. There we go. There we go. That is just not going to be, that white enamel is never going to be perfect. Even in the blister, they have issues. Here we have a Fire Chief Cruiser. Fire Chief Cruiser. There we go. Fire Chief Cruiser. What's more to say about that? What is this? What is this? Oh, paddy wagon. Every collection has a paddy wagon. Paddy wagons are usually used as wheel donors for some of the other cars. Paddy wagon. All right. That's starting to get a little too dark here, so I'm going to end this video here after this batch of cars. Get started on it again tomorrow, which might be a few minutes for you, but tomorrow for me. A red heavy Chevy. Red heavy Chevy. Look at that. Red heavy Chevy. All right. Heavy Chevy. All right. Here we got a, all right, Ford Mark IV. I say all right a lot. I got to start making a list of words that I can say so I don't repeat the same words over and over. There's several videos that I like to watch, especially in the RVs. I like to watch videos about RVs, and some of those guys will say the most ridiculous things over and over again. Look at this McLaren in antifreeze. McLaren. McLaren. Oops. Ah, darn it. Top fell off. The back fell off. What do we got here? Boss Haas Chrome. Boss Haas Chrome. The Chrome would survive really well because the Chrome just doesn't, doesn't go bad too often. Not very often. You can actually take just about any chrome boss sauce, clean it up, put some new stripes on it, and be good to go. Be good to go. I'm having some trouble focusing now because there's just all these cars down here. Makes it hard for the camera to sense the right place to focus on. Here it is with the power pad. This one's in good shape. A little later model, power pad. Decent shape. Look at that. Minimal, sh I mean, this is basically, when it comes to condition of Hot Wheels, can you see this one good? Take the top off. This is like the minimum condition that collectors typically look for. Just a few light wear spots, good chrome, and all parts accounted for. This one's got a nice shiny motor. No, not really. It's It looks shiny in the picture. It's really hard to really tell you what things look like because in the picture, everything looks shiny. In real life, this is like about half dull. But in the picture, it looks just fine. And there it is. A couple more, and we'll end this video. As always, a 4J car. Look at that. Good color on that. Let's see if the back opens right. Yeah, back opens. There it is. And the last on the video today is a... What? What is it? Oh, another 4J car in blue. This one in blue. This one has got some bubbles on it. Look at that. That's weird. Not too often you don't see U.S. cars with bubbles like that. It's usually a Hong Kong thing. Hmm. For a J car, you know, a lot of people with the sticker on the bottom. It's kind of funny. So there it is. Last one of this particular lot. Thanks for joining me for this. It's the first half of a two-part series. 100 cars, 100 red lines. Brought to you by Dave Williamson, the toy car collector. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And if you subscribe, if you haven't already, please tell your friends about my channel, about Early Red Lines, Matchbox, Johnny Lightnings, and you name it, Collectible. Thanks for joining me, and you guys have a great day.